to the newly inducted president and her executives who are now one day in office. <laughs> Members of the Ghana Bar Association, fellow Ghanaians, ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to be with you this morning as we gather to honor the vital role of the public sector service, legal service. As lawyers serving within the public sector, you stand as pillars of our nation's legal framework. Your duty transcends ordinary legal practice. It is about embedding legal excellence and ethical standards into every facet of public administration. This is no easy feat, but it requires an ongoing commitment to professional development, coordination, and a constant engagement with national policy goals. The Ghanaian public sector, like any complex institution, relies on clear, harmonized legal processes to function efficiently. However, despite our best efforts, we still encounter challenges with legal coordination and consistency across ministries, departments, and agencies. In an era defined by rapid legislative evolution and emerging global challenges, this conference represents a timely response to these challenges, aimed at forging a stronger, more cohesive legal culture within our public institutions. Today's conference this pioneering gathering is a reflection of the bold vision of the Attorney General, Godfrey Abouadami, to alleviate and elevate the legal service. It brings together the esteemed lawyers who serve across ministries, departments, and agencies, and whose work safeguards our resources, fortifies our democracy, and boasters the rule of law. As a former Attorney General, I have seen at first hand the power of a strong, capable public legal service. State attorneys and public lawyers are indeed guardians of the public trust. A well-trained and well-resourced public legal team can protect the nation's assets, advance the rights of our ordinary Ghanaians, and ensure that our governance operates within the bounds of justice. It is in the force behind our collective effort to make Ghana a place where the rule of law is not just spoken, but also lived. In this Fourth Republic, the role of the public legal service has expanded dramatically. Our growing economy, increasing investments, and the rise of citizen rights have added new dimensions to public legal service. As the complexities of civil litigation deepen, the criminal justice landscape is also rapidly evolving. Advances in technology in a society that is ever more aware of its rights demand that we continue to build a public legal service fit for the 21st century. I support fully the Attorney General's drive to, to develop a modern, resourceful public legal service equipped and empowered to meet these new challenges. Indeed, since 2017, we have made significant strides to build this service. We have recruited 190 
more state attorneys, including 70 whose appointments will soon be finalized. This recruitment represents almost half of the lawyers currently in the office of the Attorney General. Our efforts have also extended to legal departments across state-owned institutions whose staff strength has more than doubled. Today, some 600 public lawyers stand ready to serve. Supporting these lawyers goes beyond numbers. The Office of the Attorney General has in recent years offered scholarships for advanced legal studies, allowing state attorneys to pursue further education at world-renowned institutions. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow members of the bar, this conference, with its focus on arbitration, will advance our goal of fostering collaboration among lawyers who represent the interests of government and its entities. By enhancing our expertise in international commercial arbitration, investor state arbitration, and contract negotiation, we not only reduce disputes, but also alleviate the financial burden these disputes place on the exchequer of the state. In this spirit, let us recognize the progress the Kufuado administration has made in, in bolstering the capacity of the Office of the Attorney General to handle inter international arbitration independently. In years past, foreign legal expertise was often relied upon to defend Ghana's interests in the global arena. Today, we're seeing a transformed office, one with the competence and resource to champion Ghana's position internationally, achieving favorable outcomes without deferring to external counsel. This shift towards self-reliance is a testament to the strength and of proficiency of our own legal profession. The Attorney General has been at the forefront of the transformative legal reforms that strengthen accountability, expand access to justice, and advance legal education. Among these are the Contracts Amendment Act of 2023, Act 1114, which prohibits compound interest in state contracts, protecting the public purse from undue financial burden. The Criminal and Other Offenses Procedure Amendment Act of 2022, Act 1079, which introduces plea bargaining into our legal system promoting quicker resolutions within criminal justice. The Whistleblower Amendment Act of 2023, Act 1103, 1103, which incentivizes transparency by rewarding whistleblowers, creating a strong environment for accountability. And the establishment of the Office of the Registrar of Companies and the digitalization of some 85% of company registrations, easing access for businesses and entrepreneurs. My government's commitment to the legal sector extends to the development of infrastructure as evidenced by the construction of 100 courthouses across the country and the development of 121 residential units nationwide for judges. Alongside the construction of the magnificent 10-story law house in Accra, which will soon house the office of the Attorney General. We're also undertaking the historic endeavor of calling some 4,000 
500 lawyers to the bar since October 2021, doubling the legal workforce in our country. Looking ahead, I'm inspired by the Attorney General's vision for a law house in each region, creating dedicated spaces for public legal services across Ghana. This vision of a strong united legal framework is the legacy we aim to build. Ladies and gentlemen, members of the bar, as public sector lawyers, the path we walk is one that demands courage, commitment, integrity, and a ceaseless pursuit of excellence. This conference is a testimony to the value we place on your contributions and the recognition that without a strong legal backbone, our public service cannot function at its highest potential. Government is committed to supporting your development, ensuring that our legal teams are well prepared to face the challenges of our time. Together, through coordinated efforts and a shared dedication to ethical practices, we can establish a legacy of legal excellence that will strengthen the foundations of our public service and thereby of our state for generations to come. In closing, let us leave this conference with a renewed sense of duty and a clear understanding of our role in advancing and enhancing the rule of law. I look forward to witnessing the transformative impact of your contributions on our nation. And I'm confident that through your efforts, we will build an efficient, cohesive, and legally empowered public service for the benefit of all Ghanaians. I've been assured by the Attorney General that a practice I initiated as Attorney General when Ursula Owusu, now Communications Minister, was my special assistant of the Ministry being responsible for the payments of bar dues and accommodation for all state attorneys to enable them attend the annual bar conference has been maintained. I'm very happy about that. May God bless us all and our homeland Ghana and make her great and strong. I thank you for your attention. Thank you.